Floating Toolbar Pro, we have turned NinjaTrader into the most efficient platform available for applying market geometry and Elliott Wave analysis. It's typically very time consuming to apply these types of analysis correctly, and I wanted a tool that would make performing it much easier and faster, uh, that as well would allow me to create semi-automated strategies using the channels and pitchforks I produced, thereby empowering me to monitor more markets and find much better trade setups, being more selective, so we've been developing and fine-tuning the software over the past few years to do just that. And I want to take the next few minutes and show you some of the main features uh, that this tool allows you to take advantage of. So market geometry analysis, median lines, pitchforks, trend channels, these provide you with the most useful areas for defining support and resistance. And this tool enables you to perform this type of analysis incredibly quickly. I wanted to be able to apply trend channels very quickly with the channel line applied automatically and then splitting and updating as it's broken. I also wanted to be able to draw in the warning lines of the trend channel automatically, but then having the ability to draw in all of the above, the warning lines, the channels, and the median lines with its associated warning lines. And then also if I wanted to draw in the ABCD projections with the FIB extensions, I could do that as well, all with just two clicks. So essentially the trend channel function allows you to apply the trend channels, the median lines, all the warning lines, and the ABCD FIB extension projections with two clicks where the channel line is found automatically and then will break and update as price breaks through it. So for instance right here, that break is now giving you the potential target for the end of this move up because it's broken here and now it's updating from the new high. And now if I want to apply an alert to that line, I can click on the alert button and then click on that line. And now I have an active alert. There are so many different settings to the alert button. You have email, which bypasses Ninja's server. So we have our own server sending out the alerts. You can even attach a screenshot to the alert email or simply save a screenshot uh, when the alert is fired into uh, the folder that you set. If the chart is minimized, the chart will pop up and become the active chart. You can have a pop-up alert come on and sound like an alarm and go off until you click on it, or the standard NinjaTrader 7 alerts in the alert window or with a sound of your choosing. And the alert types are uh, proximity, whenever it comes within two ticks, the tick threshold is set there, or a crossover once it's crossed by more than this many ticks. And you can have it set to occur once or every time that line is touched. And I can apply these alerts to as many lines as I want. If I click on this little button, then I can apply alerts to every single line that we have here. And you can see that when there is an active alert on any given line, the line has a kind of fuzzy look to it. So if I want to remove any of those alerts, I just click on the remove alert button and then we can remove all of those alerts. So let's say I want to apply Elliott wave analysis. Well, we have these wave buttons and you can set them to whatever size wave that you want, and you can even build your own sets of numbers, letters, even words, whatever you want. So let's say we want to get an idea as to how far this wave is likely going to go. We can expect five waves in wave five. So maybe this is wave, so maybe this is wave one, two, and then three, four, maybe that'll be five of five up there. So maybe right now we're in wave two three of three and then four and potentially five of three. So what we can do now is run our FIB extensions and try to get some sort of idea as to how far this move is likely going to go. So you can develop as many different FIB tracements, extensions, however many of these buttons that you want with whatever settings that you want. Let's apply the extension from one to three back to four and expect a minimum of 61.8. So I'll apply an alert to that. So now maybe you want to do some FIB confluence work and run your retracements from the previous swing high to the ultimate low and then all the way back to the high before that and the high before that and see where you have some overlap and it looks like the only overlap that we have is really right above 50. So we'll apply an alert to those two lines and maybe even that 100% and then delete the rest. Actually, what I'll do here is delete these and then apply a horizontal ray, delete the rest, and then apply an alert to that horizontal ray so that if it comes back and hits that, I'll be notified. And then if it goes up and hits the next several areas, I'll also be notified. 
Okay, now you'll see that here we have a different colored dashed line. This is called a kiss goodbye line. So if this were the downtrend channel, we've broken up above that, oftentimes we'll pull back to that channel and then take off from it. The last time we had that happen was on this chart where we had from major low to the most recent low, we broke through the channel here and then pulled back to it and there is the kiss goodbye line and that's the area from which we had the massive downturn. And just to show you a little bit about market geometry really quickly, I'm not trying to reveal too much about market geometry in this video, uh, but this is what gave us the major low here and where I took my most recent long trade in crude was right here at the higher low and then just got out near the top of this channel uh, with about 73 ticks. So just a quick glimpse into how useful market geometry is. It really is uh, the main reason why I've been able to be profitable. The areas that it provides are just second to none. So very quickly, let's go through some of the other tools here. We have trend lines and you can show whatever text that you want for any of these lines. Let me just show you what's available here. We can attach the level, the distance from whether that be the low at the first click, the second click, or the current price of the line. So many different settings. I'm not going to get into all of that, but let's say, uh, for instance, here, you want to hide these warning lines. We can click on the warning line hide button, then they're hidden. You can click on it again and bring them back. If you want to hide everything here altogether, we can click on the hide all button, everything's gone, and then I can bring them back one at a time. Alerts are still active. I can hide the text, bring it back. I can actually delete just the text or delete just the fibs or delete everything, and then they're all gone. There are really just so many features here. With the volume profile, we can draw profiles from any swing to the current bar or just look at individual swings. We have all of the major levels, the value area high, low, the cluster high, cluster low, the point of control. I can turn all of those off actually and then just use this horizontal ray and put whatever text I want there and just say, okay, well, that's the point of control. Delete the profile and then set an alert to that. So if we come back, hit the point of control or let's say the cluster low or the value area low, I can get a notification, email, screenshot, whatever I want. Another cool feature about the hide, I'm not going to show you every single detail, it would take way too long, but we can hide certain colors. So I can color different lines, different fibs, whatever, to a certain color, hide only those colors, bring those back, hide everything except for one color, uh, and you can decide which objects you want to hide or delete. So complete control over hiding or deleting objects. We have all sorts of different drawing objects that you can use. You can kind of create your own. You can color these whatever color you want, the outside a different color, different opacity, transparency. But you know what, before we move on, let's go through how we can access these lines, all of these lines, even the lines from the volume profile inside of a strategy. For instance, using Bloodhound or Blackbird. So we can actually automate or semi-automate because we still have to draw in the areas by hand, but we can semi-automate whatever trade setups that we might define using whatever rules we've come up with together with these market geometry areas or volume profile areas or whatever we can draw with the toolbar. So just to give you an idea as to how this works, we've developed a reader indicator, for lack of a better term, we'll probably rename this, but we can access any chart from within one chart. So we can access whatever chart that we want to, whatever instrument we want to, and whatever lines that we want to. All the market geometry lines, baseline, auto line, there's gonna be a lot more available here. Uh, we're gonna add in the trend lines in the coming week or 10 days or so, and then all of the fibs. So we can access those lines and then show you when a bar on this current chart is touching an area from the higher time frame. Let me change that back to show you just short. So we can get whatever signals out of these lines that we want. So let's say down here at the bottom, I wanted to get just a long signal. And we're gonna add in whether the lines are upsloping or downsloping. We've already done that with the value indicator that would set an order that you place for a target or a stop to the value of the line or above or below that line. So we're going to add those into this part of the reader as well. But here you can see this or these couple of bars are actually the ones that are touching that line right there. And we're able to pick that up on this chart. I could show you a lot of examples using this indicator and I will in another video, but for this video, I just wanna hurry up and get through the rest of the available options, such as this risk to reward meter. We have a really nice risk to reward meter. You can actually apply alerts to these lines as well, but we can set this to whatever number of 
contracts that we want. I could put in three, four, five. We're actually going to tie this into the account value so that you can do money management rules with this tool. But you can set however many profit targets that you want, and it will tell you what your target is in terms of R relative to your risk, how much your profit targets are worth relative to how much you're risking so that you can try and maximize the amount of money that you're risking per trade. So this is a, a very nice tool. We also have a very incredible ruler that allows us to do so much more than NinjaTrader's ruler. We've added in a lot more features with ours. It gives us ticks per bar, number of contracts per bar, uh, total number of contracts. It gives us just a lot. And when we draw it in, it's two clicks instead of three, and it will find the best spot to, to actually post the information here. So it will actually do that for you automatically. If you're above the bars, it will plot above the bars. If you're below it, then it will plot below it. Before I forget, let me show you how we can copy from one chart any objects that we draw onto any other chart of the same instrument or faster time frame. So with the copy button, I can select the drawings, click on the copy, and then it copies automatically to all of the subsequently faster time frames. If I wanted to, I could delete all of that and just simply copy from one chart to the next. So let's say I want to copy from this chart, click on that copy button, and then click on this chart. And it will copy all of those objects from this chart onto the chart that I select. And you can set these up however you want. There's so many different options here. You can select the click chart, all of the same charts of the same instrument, or just the same instrument, but the faster time frames. So a lot of different, I mean, we've thought of everything that you could possibly think of with this toolbar. And one of the main features that I use for back testing, manual back testing, is this chart sync button right here. So if I click on the sync, click on that chart, click on this chart, and then this chart, I can click on the button again and then go back and find, let's say this setup, and I can click on that and then drag it to the center of the chart and get it lined up on all the time frames so that I can then take a screenshot and then save that into my database of setups that I'm trying to analyze. And if I want to, this is what's really awesome about this, is you can scroll bar by bar now. In Ninja, you can't really do that. Let me turn these divergences pros off. So we can scroll bar by bar and see how those charts looked in real time, you see. So this is the proper way to do bar by bar analysis. And now it's possible in Ninja. Before we couldn't do this in Ninja Trader. So this is an incredibly useful tool for doing manual backtesting. The next major feature is this workspaces button. So we can set however many workspaces that we have open. We can set each one to a specific button. You can load as many of these buttons as you want. You can set one of the buttons to just the desktop, and then each one is a separate button. You can add as many buttons for as many of these different features as you want. And just to show you some of the other uh, really nice features that we have, we can clone this panel and then set up as many of these as we want. So we only have to add this to one chart on one workspace, and then we can control every single chart on every single workspace from one instance of this. You can change the cursor, you can change the colors, we can recolor any line, you can add alerts to any, any line, you can hide lines, you can hide specific lines, whatever you want, you can delete certain objects and apply multiple different types of sets of fibs, sets of market geometry, trend lines, trend channels, uh, median lines, and rectangles. We can do all sorts of different things with these rectangles. We can extend them forward. We can apply text for the level, the distance, all sorts of different things. There's so many different features to this tool. It would take me several hours to completely go through it. So with that, I'm going to stop here. And if you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to write in and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks.